need to pep up an intro or an outro, here's a cool little liquid text effect that you can try. Let's head over to Canva and I'll show you how to create one. So for this design, I'm using the pro version of Canva. So what I did is I went over to elements and I started looking up paint, pour, splash, watercolor, pour, drip down. And these were the best ones I found. So I'm going to go back into elements and go into my recently used. And I used this one here, which is, hey, where's the little corner piece? Right there it is. The dripping black ink I also used so y'all will know this one right here which is slow motion milk splash background I used also used these two paint pour ones which is blue paint dripping and I also used the green plant plant paint dripping so those are the four that I used that I found were the best for this effect. So what we're going to do now is what you need to do is pull up your video and then you're going to hit the background remove. Now sometimes you might need to edit this a little bit afterwards just for the fact that if you notice sometimes your background remove will be a little bit sketchy looking. But this one usually turns out really good because it is kind of faded and all in that so once you have the background removed, what you want to do now is go get your text. So I'm going to use this right here because I like this font right here. And I'm going to delete this one because I don't want that one. And then I'm going to put my text. So I'm going to put my name, M-I-C-H-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. And then I'm going to take, it's got um, an effect on it. So I do want to take that off too. I want to change it to white. It's got effect on it. I want to take that effect off. Um, where are you in here? Oh, it's grabbing. It's not grabbing my text. Hold on. I want none. And then now it's invisible. So what you want to do is kind of get to the point in the video where you can see your whole text. So you can kind of see where you want to do it or if you need to reduce it. So I need to move it over to the left. So I need to move it over to the left a little bit and maybe it'll reduce it so it'll fit in. And then I'll go back to the end and see if it's in there. So when we play it back through, very, very simple. And there you go. It reveals from a blank color to that. So if you want to do it in a different color, all you got to do is go into your colors. Don't use a gradient because you can't do gradient text with this. So like, uh, say I want to pick this color. So what I'm going to do with my text is pick the same color. And then same thing when it reveals, we'll go a little bit into the video and it'll be a reveal. So it looks blank and then there's the reveal. And so we'll do one of the paint ones too real fast. Uh, oh, let's do the milk. I like the milk. The milk is kind of cool. So uh, we'll do the milk. What we'll do is remove the background with the milk. So what I did with the milk too, let me reduce this down a little bit and get this out the way because it's coming in this way and I need my text in the center is I just kind of enlarge this and made it so my splash will come in the center like so. And then let me grab a copy of that text real quick and bring it over here. Same as before, you're going to go and place it where you need to within that. And then if we play it through, and you see it coming in and doing that like so. And then, of course, with the paint drop-in, same thing. Just grab a paint. Uh, remove the background. I found these get a little weird. Oh, just like my voice right now. These can get a little weird, so you might want to kind of look with these and see how it's like doing that. So what I just did with that is kind of like start cutting that, that part that looked kind of icky out till it looked better. And then same thing. I'll just grab it on the shell, duplicate that, bring it over and then we'll play it through. And you can see here when it comes through, 
Uh oh, came us being weird again. Let's go. And then that's a sort of poor, and then the name is revealed. Or whatever you want to say. So if you want to have like, oh, here's a secret message, watch till the end. Or you have a intro or outro, like thank you. And you, it, it'd be a cool little thing. I really like, this is my favorite right here though. I want to do it back in white. Because I really think I like it in white a whole lot. A whole lot, y'all. A whole lot. And this is my favorite one though. I like this one the best. This is my favorite out of them. The milk one's kind of cool too, but this one is just my favorite. It's like a slow burn in. So, and that's how easy that is to do. Just remove the background, make the text the same color as the, the um, background of your design, and let it go. Very, very cool. Very, very easy. Takes all of a really couple seconds, couple minutes to do in total, and you have a really cool effect. And that's how you do that. And I thank you for stopping by. My name is Michelle. And I love you guys. Hope to see you on the next one. Bye, y'all.